Um, I'm going to do another video, another in-depth video. This one's going to be on jigs and just the other flipping baits that I have. I have the flipping baits already on my channel, like that kind of review already. So I just got, I have these on here, so I figured I would just kind of put these in here. So I guess I'll start with them. Pit Boss and Big Texan, you know, Pit Boss, one of my favorite baits. I just have these. I don't really have enough room for them, so I put them in, like, my hard bait box, which I'm not even going to do the review on because I have, like, four hard baits in there, and I can tell you it's a popper. A rope popper, a Zero Spook Junior, and two Bill Rulers Rattle Traps and Crawl Patterns. <laughs> Nothing to really show there. So, um, yeah. Big Boss, Big Texan. Good color. Uh, I like it in the summer. Next is the Lake Fork Baby Hyper Freak and Watermelon Red Candy. Uh, I've actually got a fish on this. It was about a two pounder. It's a pretty cool bait. Uh, I like throwing it on a Texas rig. I don't really like to flip with it. Uh, the paddle tail doesn't really get through the cover too good, but. Casting on a text rig works really well. Moves a lot of water. And the Gamble Ugly Otter. Uh, caught a fish on this as well. Good color, blue grass. And uh, the cool thing about it is you can cut cut the cut the like little appendages. And I cut these two. And it kind of makes it have like a zoom speed crawl kind of feel to it. And uh, I just kind of leave the, the otter tail plain. But uh, yeah, cool little bait. Alright, it's going to be jigs and punch skirts. Box. I already lost two jigs. I lost one of my striking Premier Plus ones to a bad knot and a fish. And then this one I got, I lost on a big fish that I just snapped off on. And that sucks. And there, that one was a black and blue 3 8 ounce Stanley Flipmax jig. And that was a half ounce uh, Premier Plus uh, striking jig. That was in black and blue. And then that was in um, pumpkin green flake kind of color to it. Good jig though. I like to catch a fish on it and it broke off on a bad knot. So I guess start with trailers. Um, swim jig trailer. If I'm swimming a jig, I like the uh, or just any kind of trailer. I like the Zoom Super Speed Crawl, the Ogre Chubby Crawl. Uh, these are four inch bait. These are a lot bigger than the Ultra Vibes. Big. They push a lot of water. It's a good football jig trailer. Um, I don't really throw jigs a lot, so I don't have that many in my box. Um, Zoom uh, Ultra Vibes Speed Crawls. I have a couple of these. I have a few of these. Watermelon Seed, Watermelon Red, and uh, Sapphire Blue. These are in there because I throw them in the jig trailers, but I also text for you. So, they work well. Those work pretty good. Um, jigs. I got a Booyah, not a Booyah, Buckeye mop, Mini Mop Jig in black and blue with a grass pig on the back. I'm going to swim in this jig. It has a really cool swimming presence to where, like, if you swim it, the, the, uh, the strands really kind of move, waft. It's kind of hard to explain, but it has a good feel to it. it Push this water. Next, uh, this is a 3 ounce Stanley Flimax jig, but I use these as swim jigs. They have a really great head and the eye, and the hook's super stout. All you do is just trim the weed guard a little bit. And uh, this is an Okeechobee. I have a speaker on the back. I like that jig a lot. I'm probably just going to breeze through this one because I really don't fish these too often. But I'm trying to get more into them. So, yeah. And I heard it's a good way to fish, so... Uh, next is the Striking Premier Model Jig. Denny Brower makes these, and um, these are cheaper than the uh, Hack Tack, so I got this one. Half ounce, uh, good for casting, or just straight up flipping. Uh, it has rattles, you guys can hear that. I have a Nevi Pack Crawl in here. This is a good jig, though. I've caught fish on this jig. I've, I've had it before, I broke it off. I lose a lot of my baits, too. It's a shame. I'm ashamed to say that, but I do. This is probably me. Ooh, I forgot. Rocky Crawl is... These are good punch baits and jig trailers. Awesome jig trailers. These are uh, the claws really good, have a good vibration. Whatever that jig's sitting on the bottom, the little antenna appendages really waft and cause bites. Let that word waft. Good word. Um, you know, I'll probably squeeze in jigs and chatter baits in this one video. So um, yeah. Okay. So. Punch skirts, I have one in Pond Bug. These are all Dirty Jigs punch skirts. Now, if you kind of look closely, it looks just like a straight-up Okeechobee. This actually has black and blue strands in it. Uh, if I could find one. But it actually has black and blue kind of strands in it. So, I don't know, but that, I've catch, I caught fish on that. And then, I haven't really thrown this one too much. That Like the Amber, the BK Craw, I think. BT Craw. It's got um, watermelon, a green pumpkin, and then... Amber, kind of brown, and then a chartreuse on there. Good color. And then the black and blue. Okay, so there's my jigs and punch guards. 
and new trailers. Okay, so chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, and grass pigs are in this box. Um, I have a bunch of spinnerbaits in here, a few buzzbaits. I don't really go into them because I don't really, I just, I got most of these baits from a friend, so I don't really fish them. I don't really fish spinnerbaits too often. Like, I have a Walmart one here, and like, one that's kind of cool, it has like a fiber, kind of flexible kind of shaft on it, but uh, that's about it. Cool blade to it, too. That actually throws a lot of water. Plays skirts on though, so, I mean, I'm sure striking skirts. Next are grass pigs. Uh, if you watch my Tackle Warehouse video, you should know what these are, but if you haven't, I'll show you. Uh, black and blue, silver fleck, pearl, silver fleck, and then watermelon candy. Uh, I use those as chatterbait and some of the trailers. Next are the chatterbaits. Um, I, I like these a lot better than spinnerbaits, that's for sure. I like them a lot. So, uh, one is in sex chad, grass pig on the back. I already caught a fish on this one, that's the one I caught the nice fish on, if that's a video I have on my channel. You want to go check that out, it's a nice two pounder. Next, I got this, this actually was a spinnerbait skirt, that was that was pretty much a chatterbait skirt. So I took it off the spinnerbait and put it on the chatterbait, and I cannot tell, this, this was like my first chatterbait, and I took off the chartreuse and white. I've caught more fish on this shatter bait than all my spinner baits in my box. I've caught like 30 fish on this one shatter bait. Black and blue, new one, haven't really thrown it. Uh, good color though, good for like darker water. Yeah, I think it has the, it's just a silver blade. I think my are silver bladed. Then I have it in shad, and this one actually has Reaction Evasion Skinny Dipper on it. Um, and uh, Disco Violet, I think it's just kind of like a clear with uh, black and light blue fleck in it. But it's like got a cool shiny skirt on it. Whitehead and uh, silver blade, and this one's a green pumpkin one with a watermelon candy grass pig on it. Uh, blackhead, gold blade actually, yeah, gold blade on it, and uh, yeah. So that's all my chatterbaits. Uh, I'm not really gonna go in too in depth on them. Yeah, I mean they're just simple chatterbaits. They're all three eight ounce by the way. Um, I don't really throw the half ounce or anything. If you guys have any suggestions on that, then uh, just let me know. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you my Alabama rig real quick, I guess, uh, I'll squeeze that into this video too. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call the name of this video, but it has a bunch of stuff that I should probably do. Okay, where is it? Alright, right here. It's got the Yum, I got the Yum Brella rig right here. Uh, it's on the Tennessee, Tennessee Shad Head color. It's got skinny dippers on all of them. I cut the heads off of the top ones and left the whole one on the back. Uh, the middle sh the middle wire is longer than the other one. These are all Yum Umbrella hooks, but I, ha I had to replace one of the jig heads. Uh, these are all quarter ounce jig heads, and the bottom one's actually lighter. I like this one. I actually caught a fish on it. Don't throw it too much. I don't, I don't throw it at all, actually. I've only thrown it like once or twice when I got it, but that's it. All right, guys. Um, yeah, that's my... That's my... Uh, that's... I have like, I think I have one box to go. Um, I think I'm actually just going to do my terminal tackle box, and that'll be it. Since I kind of squeezed those three, those two boxes, and uh, the, those three boxes into one, since it's kind of a shorter video. Um, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, deuces.